How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. My name is Alex. We're going to be going over SDC stock uh, and why we think there's a lot more upside potential for the stock. As we can see, we closed the week up 21%. Really nice uptrend here and really nice increase in volume uh, as a short squeeze play. Now, of course, this company is definitely good for the long term. Uh, they are right with a Misaline. They make clear liners basically an alternative to braces uh, and it's all remote. You don't have to visit a physical location for a dentist's office, which is the beauty of SDC and very convenient for most people. Uh, so take a look at the five year chart. We are down almost 70% uh, ever since it went public back in 2019 at a price of $20.55 per share. So if it can go back to its original price, we're seeing a ton of upside potential. Um, over 300% gains from its current stock price of $6.60. Uh, if we take a look at the charts, we do have some really nice um, uptrend here, a little increase in volume. And what we're really looking for is a, another big increase in volume. Like back in September of 17, 2021, we had this big spike in volume. Uh, that's what we're really looking at. Uh, we want a huge gap up uh, with some nice volume. And right now, even though this, this price is skyrocketing, there's not much volume. So uh, with the added increase of interest from Wall Street bets, as well as other Reddit subreddits, uh, we're really looking for the stock to gain traction again and have some nice volume, which could drive the price of the stock even further. Um, we're also really looking for a breakout on this 7 uh, dollar resistance line here. So if the stock can do that, we can see a lot more upside potential with the stock. As we can see last Friday, uh, we did consolidate a little bit, which is some really healthy price action. Uh, and the squeeze play is definitely not over yet. So definitely buy SDC. Um, it is one of those talked about stocks on Wall Street bets right now. Uh, and there's a lot of good things with it. Volume is still pretty low. It's increasing. But we really want to see a nice big uh, spike in volume uh, as we saw last month. So the best way to play this is just to buy and hold shares. This is a great long term company uh, with a lot of recovery potential. Got hammered by the pandemic and it hasn't recovered since. So there's a lot of recovery potential here. Um, even if the squeeze doesn't play out, great long term company. And you're definitely going to make a lot of money just buying and holding SDC. And if you want, you can play options. The best way to play options would be to buy some leap options. So do something like a 2022 expiration. Something like a 2023 would be even good too. As you can see, you could do a, like a $10 call option. It's going to cost you only $200 to leverage 100 shares. So really nice potential here and really good unlimited upside potential as well uh, with the options. If you want to do some shorter options, you can. It's going to be a bit risky. As we can see, October 22 expiration date is only going to cost you less than 100 bucks. So you could do something like, say, a $7 call option. Only going to cost you 56 bucks, and you're going to get October 22nd expiration date. That's two weeks of expiration date. And it's only 56 bucks. So very good for small accounts as well. Uh, if you want to own shares, uh, the best way to do it would be October 15, October 22 expiration date. Uh, you can go to sell, you can go to put, and you can do something like a $6 strike. Basically what this means is you're going to be getting paid $39 to potentially buy SDC stock at $6 each. Um, so you're basically getting paid to buy the dip um, as long as SDC um, if SCC stays above $6 at expiration October 22nd, the contract expires worthless and your max profit is just going to be the credit you're receiving. Um, but if SCC goes below your strike price at expiration, you have to buy 100 shares at your strike price, which is going to be $6 per share, which is a pretty good cost basis. You're pretty much buying the dip and overall it's going to be a good company for the long term. 
your break even here is going to be five dollars and 61 cents which is actually going to be your new cost basis because it's going to factor into the credit that you're receiving which is 39 dollars per share so your new cost basis is going to be five dollars and 61 cents which is currently a dollar under the current stock price of six dollars and 60 cents um, so overall we're really looking at sdc for next week uh, really nice um, chart right here really looking for a breakout at the seven dollar price point and we're really looking for a huge spike in volume to drive this price further if this video helps me wait please would like comment down below your thoughts are on sdc and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel it helps out a lot thanks for watching